Hi, my name is Fran Jesus Colomados. I am from Cabo Rojo, Puerto Rico, and I am studying biology in the Inter-American University of Puerto Rico. I will be speaking about Martin Espada in this presentation. Martin Espada was born in Brooklyn, New York in 1957. His father, Frank Espada, is from Utuado, Puerto Rico, and he was a social activist and a photographer. Martin Espada is more than a poet. He is a sagist, translator, editor, and attorney. Also, he pursued for the social justice and fight for the human rights. Martin Espada, Tom born in Puerto Rico, but he identified himself more with the Puerto Rican community than the American. So he said that he is Latino, also he speaks both language, Spanish and English. He has published almost 20 books as a poet, editor, ancestors and translator. His latest collection of poems from Norton is called Vivas to Those Who Have Failed. He drew it in 2016. Um, he didn't public um, any other book after that, but he continued doing poems and published them. In all of his career, he received different honor. The last one was in 2018. That one was the Ruth Lilly Poetry Prize. He is the first Latino recipient of this prize. Um, also he received another one that calls the Chile Memorial Award, the Robert Crowley Award, the National Hispanic Culture Center Literary Award, American Book Award, an Academy of American Poets Fellowship, the Penn Robinson Fellowship, and a Goodenham Fellowship. Also, the Republic of Poetry was a finalist for the Pulitzer Prize. Martin Espada liked to write about politics, social problems, or events that really affect one country. He write about 9-11 in his collection Alabanza. Also, he write one point about Rick and Maria. That is the one that I'm going to explain later in this presentation. My reward for this life will be a thousand pounds of dirt shoveling in my face. You will run. You are seven pounds of ashes in a bus. A Puerto Rican flag wrapper around you, next to a red brick from the house in Otuado where you were born. All crammed together on my book trail. You tell me there is not God, not life after this life. So I know you are not watching me. Type this letter over my shoulder. When I was a boy, you were God. I watched from the seventh floor of the project as you walked down into the street to stop a public execution. A big man caught a small man stealing his car, and everyone 
in Brooklyn heard the car alarm well of that condemning. He is killing me. At the word from you, the executor's hand slipped from the hair of, of the thief. The kid was high. Was all that you say when you came back to us? When I was a boy and you were God, we fled to Puerto Rico, you say. My grandfather was the mayor of Utuado. His name was Buenaventura. That meant good fortune. I believe in your grandfather's name. I heard the three frogs shouting to each other all night. I saw banana left and elephant palm spurting from the mountain's belly. I know the manga pit and the sweet yellow hair stuck between my teeth. I say to you, you came from another planet, how do you do it? You say, every morning, just before I wake up, I saw the mountain. Every morning, I see the mountain. In Otuado, three sisters, all their 70s, all veteran, all Pentecostals, who only left the house for church, lay sleeping on mattress spread across the floor. When the hurricane couldn't the mountain the way of butchers fly up in a dangle pig, and a rolling wall of mud buried them, leaving the four sister through a struggle into the street, screaming like an unhead prophet about the end of the war. In Otuado, a man who cultivated a garden of aguacate and carambola, feeding the avocado and star food to his nice from New York, saw the trees in his garden behead all at once like the soldiers of a beaten army, and so hanged himself. In Utuado, a welder and a handyman rigger a pulley with a shopping cart to ferry rice and bin across the river where the bridge collapsed. When it's the car swaying about so many hands, then raised a sign that told the helicopter Campamento Los Olvidados, Camp of Forgotten. Los Olvidados wait seven hours in line for a government meal of skittles and Vienna sausage or a tarp to cover the bones of a house with no roof. As the fungus grown on their skin from sleeping on mattress trench with the speed of the hurricane. They drink the browner water, waiting for microscopic monster in their bellies to visit plagues upon them. A nurse say, these people are going to have an epidemic. These people are going to die. The president flipped rolls of paper towel to a groom at the church in Guaynabo. Sales loving thunderbolt on the looked war of his delusions. Down the block, cousin Ricardo, Bernie's boy, say that somebody stole his can of diesel. I heard somebody ask you once what Perico needs to be free. And you say, tres pulgadas de sangre en la calle, three inch of blood in the street. Now, three inch of mud flow through the street of Utuado and traps patter the tomb as if guardian the bane of copper in the ground, as if a shovel d didn't crave in the backyard my strict the or below, as if la brigada swinging machetes to clear the road might remember the last uprising. 
I know you are not God. I have the proof. Seven pan of ashes in the box on my boat show. God does not die. And yet I want you to be God again. I strive from the ground to see the president arm before another roll of paper towel sails away. Thunder Spanish obscenities in his face. Banish him to a rough place. Brainstorm in Utuado. So he revels one socket shit after another. Till there is nothing left but his cardboard hair. I promise myself I will stop talking to you. Why bots of great grit? You were deaf even before you die. Hear my promise now. I will take you to the mountains where house lost like sheep at, at sea rise blue and yellow from the mud. I will open my hands. I will scatter your ashes 